Hey guys, so today we'll be looking at the legendary Coglins 8408 Camp Trowel. So this was my first Camp Trowel, is my first Camp Trowel that I ever got. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, about at least 8 years old, probably older. And yeah, uh, it was really cheap and it still is really cheap and that's one of its main selling points. And it's served me well, as you can see, uh, I don't know what it turns out in the video, it shows up in the video. But this blade is heavily used. I have taken it on all my backpacking trips and camping trips uh, that goes to places with no facilities. And I've used it a lot. And even between trips, I have let my kids use it in their sand pit, in, at the beach, in the garden, and all that. And it has held up well. So. Uh, just a little bit about it. This is, uh, like I mentioned, it's Coglins 8408. It's really cheap. It goes for, I think, about $3.50. I think I paid a little bit more, me being in Malaysia, but not by much, actually. It was quite cheap still. Um, it's made of, what is that now? High impact polystyrene plastic. And interestingly enough, it's actually made by Patrick Plastics Inc in Canada, at least the one that I have. I can't say whether the current ones are made still in Canada, but yeah, it's held up really well. Um, a little bit about it, from a technical standpoint, if you look at it, the blade is properly ribbed at the back, so um, it's properly supported. They have this little wedge here, which they extend from the handle, which is good to transfer the, the bending load in. If you look at the GSI version, it often breaks along this point, so this extension of the wedge here uh, adds rigidity and uh, strength. So the blade is tapered to the front and it's a little bit narrow. And the handle at the back is, well, hollow. And there's a little bit of a, if you can see, there's a little bit of support here to transfer load from this edge, which would be a, a stress concentrating point, into the other side. The back has a raised edge here to also support this. So structurally, whoever designed this uh, was really good, I think, and it has held up to all kinds of abuse and it's still going strong. I spliced in a bit of um, 1.8 inch uh, line here and I just hook it onto a carabiner. So I generally hook it onto the outside of my pack and when I'm at camp, I, this goes onto the suspension of my hammock for easy access. So LNT says that you're supposed to dig a six inch deep cat hole, right? So um, this blade is actually six inches deep, which is what's really nice about the shovel or trowel. If you're holding yes. the trowel and you have dug down deep enough to this edge is basically the same level as the surface of the soil, uh, you know you have a sufficiently deep cat hole to use. And the handle is properly long. My hands are not the smallest round and I still have plenty of space to grip. All the edges are nice and round. So an overall look at it is, uh, well, it's a six inches long, a six inch long blade. And I think this is like four and three quarter, near just, on, just shy of five inches. So overall, I'd just say just shy of 11 inches of a shovel. In metric, we're looking at a 15 centimeter blade and uh, just over 12 centimeter long um, handle and an overall length of about 27 and a half centimeters. The weight on this thing is really impressive actually, uh, despite its weight and all that. It, I would say it practically falls into an ultralight range, I guess, if you want to call it that. This blade by itself, I'm just holding this up so it doesn't contribute to the weight here. It's about 50 or 50 grams, I guess, or like 1.8 ounces. And if I count the carabiner and the rope and all that stuff, it goes to just 2.1 ounces or let's go down to grams, 59 grams, 60 grams. For context, the deuce of spades, I will use the number three because that's the largest size and those tiny little ones which are basically have a blade that's about that long, your hand will have to be basically in the, in the ground digging out the hole and well, that to me, that's just a bit of inconvenience and a little bit of extra weight is not worth getting those tiny little 
shovels. Get get a full size one. Uh, the full size one for Diaz is I think eight inches long, so it is a little bit shorter. It's around until here. So um, yeah, but generally I would say the use of spades would be considered the gold standard for um, well camp travels, right? And that juice of spades ultralight is 0.95 of an ounce, so I think like 0.95 would be in 27 grams, I think. So this is only marginally heavier for a fraction of the cost. And it's really comfortable, properly uh, sized and nice bright color. So if you drop it, you don't lose it. You can easily see it. So I guess uh, that's nothing much else to say about this trowel. It's such a simple piece of gear that costs so little and it's just so functional. Uh, so if y'all are just looking to get into backpacking and are thinking of getting something that's uh, to support your LNT efforts, I hope this has uh, alleviated your apprehensions because I know some backpackers online have actually spoken quite poorly of this shovel. I'm not sure what they did. They might have been digging into rocks or something like that and they said they are broke or they found it unreliable or they feel it's unreliable, which I think is a very irresponsible statement. Um, I think our views should be based on facts or at least technical observations. So yeah, um, I don't know why some people give this, this trowel a bad rap. Uh, yeah, I, I found it, if anything, absolutely reliable. My kids... <laughs> <laughs> really use the heck out of it. So yeah, if you're if you're thinking of getting this and you can't afford anything else, or you just want to get some, and you or you just like this design and you think of getting it, don't worry about it. Just get it. It's like three dollars and fifty cents or whatever, some small amount. And if you don't like like carrying it out uh, on your pack, get something else and just use this at home for your gardening. Or give it, if you don't do gardening, give it to someone who does. It's actually a perfect gardening tool. So I hope you found this interesting, guys. And if you've used this before, you have any experience, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear about it. If you've broken it, please let me know how you broke yours. Because I can't imagine how I could do that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.